Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining us today. Today we are going to be making our 10 minute fluid hot process soap. We will be making our honeysuckle and jasmine soap recipe for a special birthday surprise for Mrs. Judy Frost who will be celebrating her birthday this weekend and I am so incredibly excited to be making this gorgeous soap for her. So the, the process that we are going to be using is called a 10 minute fluid hot process soap process or what we like to call HTHP, high temperature hot process soap. And this is a process that uses high temperatures to accelerate the reaction rate of the saponification process, which helps us instead of using a crock pot and um, more traditional methods or low temperature hot process, method, hot process methods, we use our microwave and a microwave safe bowl. So this bowl is polypropylene um, to make gorgeous hot process soap in just under 10 minutes. This process also allows us to do a more smooth and creamy and fluid process. That way we can get some gorgeous swirls in there. So the recipe we're using today is our classic um, coconut oil soap. It is incredibly simple, incredibly beautiful. The oils are just coconut oil. So that's all that's in our bowl right now is coconut oil. We will be using a 30% super fat. That way it kind of diminishes some of the cleansing effects of coconut oil and produces a super creamy, beautiful, bubbly, softening recipe. So the recipe alone is gorgeous. If you want to just make a classic, beautiful coconut oil soap, that, that is perfect. But here at the Ultimate Guide to Soap, we like to take our soap science information and use that to our advantage to make an even better soap. So we've got lots of good additives here that we're going to add. Again, these are optional. You do not have to use them. If you do not use them, your soap will still be amazing and beautiful as it is. So let's go ahead and go over our additives. We have first, we're going to create our lye solutions. We have our sodium hydroxide and our distilled water. In this cup, we have our sodium gluconate and white kaolin clay. That is going to, the sodium gluconate is going to act as a chelator, which is awesome. If you've got hard water, it's going to help increase the lathering abilities of your soap and help fight that soap scum. We've got mulberry silk, which is going to add a really beautiful, um, it's even going to add a white shine to our soap and create a really silky smooth lather. Sodium lactate. We've got our sorbitol, which we you should know by now we absolutely love sorbitol. During the break we're going to melt our acetyl alcohol which is going to act as a lathering stabilizer. So literally you can create lather that lasts for days. It's perfect. It's perfect in this recipe. Um, it is our secret weapon in our shave soap recipes. So absolutely love acetyl alcohol. If you don't, don't want to or don't have or don't have access to acetyl alcohol, you can add 5 to 10 percent jojoba oil in your recipe so that would work as well um we've got our honeysuckle and jasmine fragrance love it and then from last spring of course it's snowing and <laughs> cold outside right now but we've got our jasmine buds that we dried and we're gonna add a little bit of green colorant just to add a little pop and swirl into our recipe so let's make sure our oils are still heated up that is still good for us. We've got our PPE on, long sleeves, long pants, closed toed shoes, gloves, goggles. I'm going to put my respirator on while I create this light solution. So let's go ahead and start that.
can add in our other additives once our silk has completely dissolved. sodium lacti we can add directly to our oils. We begin our continuous mixing process. We want to have our whisk ready. We've got our spatula on the side as well. These additives will be used to post cook, so we can go ahead and start that process. Put my respirator back on.
keep in mind that this is a bigger batch for us and also where we are looking at it right now it is cold outside so it is 12 degrees outside right now and when it's just cold outside everything seems to take just a little bit longer so if you wanted to you didn't have a powerful immersion blender like we do you could take this right now and cover it and allow it to sit until soap begins to expand or you can keep mixing which is what we're going to continue to do but again we have a beast of an immersion blender and we absolutely love it. So we're going to mix for another minute or two. That one's completely up to you what you guys want to do. because it's a nice big batch it's cold outside and this is it although it is a quickly saponifying recipe which means it's got lots of saturated fats it will saponify quickly it's not necessarily one of our um typical high temperature fluid hot process recipes which will saponify in one to two minutes and be completely done so we can feel it it's hot it's getting hotter we're gonna allow it to sit for a couple minutes cover it with plastic wrap your bowl lid or we're just going to use a plate for today because it fits perfectly and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes while this is sitting we're going to melt our acetyl alcohol and get our color ready so see you shortly our soap expanded and it is good and ready to go You can see how it turned from a white to a more kind of, it's not gel. It doesn't look exactly like gel because we did put our colorant in it already. We're gonna mix it just once more, just to, just to make sure. <laughs> consistency of our finished fluid hot process soap yep this is it this is done when most people see this they think no that's not there's no way that hot process soap can be fluid but this is it when it's finished and the consistency and we're even using a water discount for this recipe so I'm going to go check on the status of our acetyl alcohol we will add our post cook additives and I will be right back Our single alcohol and our fragrance.
little bit so that we can color it. Because this recipe solidifies so quickly, we really want to make sure we keep it off the edges. Otherwise, we'll get clumps and bumps. So, really try to do that. Just a little bit more. 